Hey Pop Robots, we're done. Our first paint on plastic machining Krieger competition has finished. The results are in. Okay, let's do it. Hey guys, now first things first, I want to thank you. Thank you for making this a success. Uh, in seriousness, I was a little bit concerned that uh, we may not have enough finished entries to, to cover the prizes we were offering. And that would be a little bit of an embarrassing fail, wouldn't it? But no, even with a, uh, a relatively niche area, Machining Krieger Modeling, run on my tiny YouTube channel, uh, we had over 120 uh, entries come in for this. And uh, what was even more surprising to me was the finish rate. Uh, it's just under 50%. 62 of you submitted final uh, finished entries. So again, thank you very much for that. So big congratulations to you. Any finished model is a win. Next, before we get into the details, I've probably not been saying thank you enough to the awesome sponsors who stepped up. They basically said yes to nothing to get involved with this competition with us. I mean, we hadn't done this before and uh, for all they knew, it could have been an epic fail. So a very big thank you as well to uh, Anthony of uh, ACS Branco there in Melbourne, Australia. And uh, of course, the one and only Ryan San Pedro of Hobbyco in Sydney, who basically says yes to anything I propose him. <laughs> Can I include that? <laughs> Sorry, Ryan, I just couldn't help it. It came out. Please visit their stores and buy stuff and uh, check out their online details in the description below and throw them some money love. Uh, we really appreciate you guys. Thank you for backing us up on this. Okay, results without further ado. We've got uh, two gold winners, two silver winners, and uh, two links choice. Uh, I wanted to make sure that we had three different tiers. The links choice is just basically, I love what you've done with Machine and Krieger and would like to see more from you. Okay, let's kick off with silver. We've got Takumi-san. Boom, congratulations, mate. This is elegant beauty in Machine and Krieger modeling. Uh, on a stick. Look how everything, you open it up, all you can see is part of the uh, the display. Uh, it's because the, the suit is beautifully done, but it doesn't, it's not overpowering. You don't, uh, nothing actually hits you uh, until you look deeper into it, which uh, I think the photography has done a beautiful job of doing it too. It's very understated type finish. It's not too clean, not too weathered, uh, beautifully understated in a very uh, nice and polished machine in Krieger way. Um, some wonderful uh, additions have been added here. They look you know, very believable. And the way the figure and the suit are aligned with one another, you can very obviously see that uh, the subject is, uh, you know, it's very simply the, uh, the, the suit undergoing maintenance. See how the suit perfectly points at her uh, and the way uh, her feet are positioned on the base that besides the photo uh, being square onto us, nothing actually is, is square or uh, confrontational to us. Everything is aligned in such a way that it allows our eye to draw in. Color palette is just fantastic. Uh, this wonderful uh, red-orange color that both complements and uh, but yet doesn't dis uh, detract uh, from, from the main colors. And uh, the ID bands on this are very obviously her jumpsuit color again, so it's the same colors used around. Uh, I'm not sure because of the way uh, some of the colors are in shadow, but I would not be surprised if say the, uh, the blue padding up here might be the undergarment uh, choice there. It's beautifully done. I really love this. If the photography was sharper for this one, this may this one could have taken out overall. Uh, I just think this one was very difficult to, to photograph. And that's something I'm sure Takumi-san will be working on. Uh, next one is also, how perfect is this? Nate Bliss, well done, mate. Perfect. The, uh, this is very reminiscent of the, uh, the outdoor shots that Yokoyama-san takes as kind of a proofing sort of shot and something that he uses then as a reference to paint the box art. And uh, that's what this could be. It looks like something that could be the box art, uh, for example, to for, for the uh, the Oscar project, for example. I mean, the photography is wonderful and sharp and crisp. Lighting choice was good. Uh, the arrangement, it's not overly contrived. It's it's a lovely, you know, they've it's a it's a snapshot in a moment of life for these people in the Machine and Krieger universe. 
uh, I I guess that uh, you know because of the the white usage here on these two that these two are associated and they're speaking with the Nise pilot uh, who has yellow which helps him to stand apart he's also rocking a white helmet there's just there's nothing actually that uh, that disrupts or uh, or uh, uh, works against itself here it's very very nicely done the, uh, oddly enough I do like how the white and yellow which is Obviously not related whatsoever. He's reflected in the model. I'm sure that one was just a coincidence, but beautifully done. I also really like that if I didn't know better, if you showed this to me and said, this is yokoyama sans work, I would believe it. Uh, the touch on the hand paint is really that good. It's just very well done. Nate's obviously invested a lot of time and effort into trying to get that look that yokoyama san puts into his work. So I absolutely adore that. Beautifully done, Nate. Congratulations. And now for gold. First choice for the gold level here is uh, this wonderful vignette by Doidi. Uh, just look at it. It instantly tells you everything you need to know about Machine and Krieger in one shot. Uh, it's got the Lunigans, the, the, the crew. Again, it's that moment, that snapshot. Um, there's no particular heroes in this universe. We don't really know anybody's names. They're just... Uh, uh, ground crew getting this this AI uh, uh, mecha you know, back in service. Wonderfully done. See how the subject fills the entirety of the photograph. Uh, it's cropped from here to here, so there's no real wasted space here. Um, it's allowed to breathe a little bit around the outside. Uh, choice of black was fantastic for this one in that it allows the colors to stand out. The, um, the choice of blues, grays, uh, working together with the uh, the skin tones, it's uh, very very well chosen. I'd really like to know what colors he's used here. It's a it's a very cool background shadow red uh, color there, but beautifully done. Um, I've seen a bunch of photos of this uh, from other angles, etc. Very nicely done. Uh, oh, the other thing too is the uh, the base. It was obviously all done and planned together, very well, simple but highly effective. How the uh, geometrical shapes echo the same colors that we can see on the top and contrast beautifully against the organic curves of the Lunagans uh, and the same uh, ID color is used. It's not uh, not competing, uh, it ties them together which uh, is just a nice important touch in keeping it less but better. So this is a very beautifully done uh, model and vignette. Thank you very much Doidi. I really like this one. Rounding out our gold medal choices is uh, this one from Jeff, Jeff Gumbay. I think those of you who have seen it across social media are not surprised with this choice. Uh, it's, it's not the best model, but the total arrangement combined with the message gives it one of the, the, you know, it's one of the most complete ones I feel in the competition based on all of those things, including showing Jeff's showing that he understands what Machine and Krieger is meant to be. It's Yokoyama-san, Yokoyama-sensei, uh, telling us it's meant to have fun. So it's, uh, it can look quite serious at times, but at other times it's quite tongue-in-cheek like this. Uh, my wife mentioned to me, because she's been to quite a few of the Machine and Krieger shows, that this is very much something we would see at one of the Tenji guys. Uh, the, the ode to Yokoyama-san and, and his family, complete with uh, Urang-chang and Mochi. Uh, the, the Yokoyama-san family uh, cats, which uh, I think was a really nifty touch. You know, it's all of them. Uh, the, the different suits being on different teams, I'm not sure. I'd like to speak with Jeff and find out what his, what his ideas there. You know, husband and wife being, say, Merck and Stral is kind of a funny idea, if that's what he was thinking. Uh, there's also a little bit of a cheeky inside look here from Jeff to me. Uh, the colorway. Is, I would guess it's somewhat based on the 2009 uh, snake eye I did. Uh, but I think this one's better. You've done a better job than mine. Jeff, well done, mate. That's really good. Uh, the posing and the, uh, the eye contact for Yokoyama-san as the subject is very easy to spot, uh, as is the, the, the colored uh, uh, separation between the, the warm uh, tones for the, we call it the male side, because the cats are also male. Uh, versus the feminine side, which is a really cool touch too. Uh, and you know the, the wonderful work here on uh, Ritsuko-san's uh, jumpsuit and the ocha, 
and uh, she's holding the, uh, the green tea, which is just a really cool thing. And I've been to their house loads of times. Ritsuko-san really does uh, drink green tea like that. So it's, it's quite nice. I imagine Jeff has never been there. I would really like the opportunity to take him to their home and experience this, uh, albeit without the large mecha suits. So really well done, Jeff, but thank you. Thank you for putting so much machine intriguer feeling uh, that family fun feeling, uh, putting it into your work here. It's really come to life. And as this, this could be the first of, uh, of, of many of these Machine and Krieger contests, we might do this each year now, seeing as it was so popular. I think this is a wonderful uh, display for people to see coming in. You know, what's all of this about? Um, if they could only see one uh, image, this would be it. Uh, to show kind of what we're about with this. So I thought that was really well done. Thank you so much, Jeff. Congratulations. Alrighty, Link's Choice. I uh, was particularly taken with these two entries. Again, this was pretty hard. There are so many good, really good entries there. This one really took my eye because it's, uh, it's the kind of photography that Yokoyama-san really likes. and something that we would see in uh, something like this, the uh, MAK uh, profile. Uh, on the folk here. And it's the kind of uh, photography that uh, Yokoyama san and his team uh, pioneered with uh, Scale Aviation magazine. And uh, the use of natural lighting on this one, uh, although it's difficult to spot it's a folk here, unless you know what you know what you're looking for, uh, how how cool is this and how it comes to life? Look how real the pilot looks. Uh, and held up to a, uh, a beautiful skyline there. The wispy, you know, the, the, the choice of clouds on that day uh, for its Leonard was, uh, was, was very impressive. I think you, you really lucked out with the good sky there, right? So I really like this one. It really speaks to me uh, in, a, in a type of Machine and Krieger realistic photography way. So um, I'm going to shoot you over a kit. I'd just like you to do whatever you want with it. Uh, I'm a fan of your work. It's good stuff. And lastly, uh, Link's choice is uh, this beautifully uh, finished and photographed Lunar Diver. Uh, Lunar Diver is one of my, my personal favorites, despite not having made another one forever. The, uh, it's beautifully done, RJ. Now, uh, we have a little bit of history with this one. Uh, RJ is a friend of mine and he pinged me. And he's new to Machine and Krieger. And it was extremely difficult for him to start weathering this otherwise beautifully uh, painted model. I'm super proud of you that you were able to be open-minded, to listen for feedback, and then actually take it, use it, and come back. That's very rare in, in the hobby. I, uh, I understand we're all doing it for fun, but uh, it's often quite a, a challenge for many of us to put our ego at the door and, uh, and ask for help. Uh, but then I'll actually to, to, to act on it, I believe this might be three times going back and applying more weathering, uh, which is uh, you know, both a sign of trust on RJ's uh, part to, to listen, but also um, shows that he really wants it. He really wants to learn. And it's finally picked up uh, a, a wonderful, uh, you know, it's a wonderful look. It's really nailed it. Yes, it's right, it's right off the box top. And I like that and wanted to, to show people that this is a very viable way to go about your models. We in the studio put in a lot of time to choose these, weather, choose these uh, color schemes for you uh, and to, to photograph the models to show them off in a very aesthetic way. There's nothing wrong with learning that. Uh, one of the best ways to learn uh, is through imitation. And uh, I, highly, I highly recommend that before deciding to to try to be original. It's, it's much better that you can produce a master forgery first uh, before uh, wanting to, to you know, make your own thing. And uh, I say that as uh, that's exactly what I did. Uh, one of the reasons your camera son chose me for his team was because I could produce master forgeries of his work. Uh, RJ has followed that path here and I want to see more from you, mate. This is fantastic. Uh, the lighting choices and the way you've been able to show off the curves, etc., for this model are phenomenal. It's a beautiful, uh, you know, the photograph as it, as it stands is a, is a beautiful artwork in of itself. That you also painted and made this model 
is, uh, is, is, is brilliant. So I'm going to give you another one that's very difficult to make look cool because I want you to, uh, to take that challenge on. You don't know, no time pressure on when to do it, but I want you to try a difficult one next as well. This is fantastic. Congratulations, RJ. Well done, mate. As a special bonus from myself to you, our Paint On Plastic Patreon supporters, if wanted, can receive personal feedback on their entries. So uh, those of you at the Brobot level, just ping me on uh, either Discord or uh, in the Patreon app, and uh, we can have a bit of back and forth uh, via text on how I think you could improve and what I think you did really well. And uh, for Epic Brobot uh, supporters, uh, please ping me again through those apps and let's set up a, a 30 minute chat. And we can voice over uh, you know, what you've done, what you liked about it, and if anything you'd like to improve. You invest in yourself and support what we do, so I'm more than happy to invest in and support you right back. Now, again, congratulations to all of you who finished. A finished model is a win, right? And uh, I hope you also enjoyed this. It was a fantastic you know, community uh, event for us. And you know, it was a real treat watching it unfold across all of the different uh, social media uh, channels. You know, I click into Instagram and there'd be a couple of you know, tags and mentions at the, the hashtag paint on plastic. So it was really cool to see things kicking along there. A bunch of you uh, shared really, uh, really interesting uh, updates with us uh, in our Facebook group. Uh, and so again, thank you. Thank you very much. That really made it uh, a wonderful community uh, event for us. And I enjoyed it a bunch. Hope you did too. Okay, and wrapping up, uh, I'll reach out to the winners uh, personally and I'll tee you up with our, uh, our wonderful sponsors who I want to throw another shout out to. Come on. Uh, Anthony of uh, ACS Branco in Melbourne. Cheers, mate. Really appreciate you. And Brian San Pedro of, uh, of uh, Hobbyco. And uh, just as a, as a weird aside, we're actually moving the family down to, uh, to, to Sydney shortly. So that's also going to be our local hobby shop. And I'll be putting on some events there too. That'll be really fun and you can come in and, and help us support local. It'll be a fun thing. Thanks a bunch guys, more soon. See ya. Big thanks to Hobbyco and the visionary Ryan San Pedro for bringing the Japanese hobby to us locally. Roll call for the epic and legendary pop robots. We super appreciate you. Ivan, Grant, Con, Jack, RJ, Tweets, Peter, Robert, Kelso, Kevin, Derek, Dom, Nick, Danny, John, Andy, Philippe, Jake, Pete, Ben, Commander Newbie, Hal, Kieran, Jody, Chris, Guy, Nelson, and welcoming Matt Cranwell. Thank you so very much, guys. And of course, the Brobot Inner Circle, the awesome folks that make this happen. I couldn't do it without you. Always, thank you so very much. Please join us. <laughs>